Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. Um, basically, I very, very kindly received a kind of PR blogger package from Soap and & Glory and I got a few of their brand new products out um, to try and test and I really wanted to feature those in a video to share with you all and I thought that it would be interesting to do kind of like a first impressions video so I can show you what they sent me and also my first impressions on the products, a little bit of information about them and then how they actually look on my face. Um, so this video is not sponsored by Soap & Glory, they're not paying me to say any of this. They just quite often send me um, boxes full of their products to try and I'm so grateful for it. They're literally one of the loveliest companies to kind of be in contact with um, and I'm really, really lucky in the sense that they do send me quite a lot of parcels to try. Um, so yeah, I've got a few new bits that um, they are launching and I thought that I would make a video about it and by the time you watch this video, they will definitely be out in the shops because um, I'm filming this video quite far in advance because I have got a new job and it's going to be taking up quite a lot of my time at the beginning of the job. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a lot of kind of pre-filmed videos done and this is definitely going to be one of them. So when you watch this, all of these products are available to buy. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna basically do a makeup tutorial, show you the new bits that I've got and put it all on my face along with some other bits of makeup and just do a bit of a chit chat kind of video. And yeah, I really hope that you like it. So I'm using my cute little headband again from Accessorize just to pop all of my hair out of my face and make it a lot easier to do my makeup. So I'm going to be starting with a primer and this is a Soap & Glory primer which I absolutely love and I use it all of the time. Um, it's not a new product that they've sent me but it's just one that I had anyway from a previous parcel that they sent and it is the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Block Primer. This is a really great primer for all different skin types. Um, it's really good if you've got dry skin, it's also good if you've got oily or combination skin. Um, it just kind of works with every different skin type and it just helps to mattify but moisturise at the same time and just keep your makeup on a lot longer throughout the day and I love this one, it's really affordable and it's just one that is just great for everybody and I find myself using it a lot. So I've primed my skin, I'm now going to move on to foundation and I'm actually using a MAC foundation today. This is the MAC, MAC Studio Sculpt um, SPF 15 foundation in the shade NC15 which is a little bit too dark for me so I'm going to be taking some of that onto the back of my hand and mixing it with a little bit of MAC Face and Body White Foundation. I'm going to mix up some of the white with that on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to dot that around my skin. Um, the reason why I'm using this foundation is because I was looking through my foundation drawer and I realised that I hadn't used this one in a little while so that is basically the reason why I'm using it because I'm trying to use as many different foundations as I can and try and use them up rather than just sticking to one or two because it's a waste otherwise because I've got so many different foundations. I'm then going to blend that in using my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. I'm so sorry. Um, my brushes are very dirty. They are due a wash and I'm going to wash them as soon as I filmed this video. Um, so yeah, just don't look at how dirty my brushes are because it's not very nice. And then at the same time as blending it in with the brush, I'm also going to be using my Beauty Blender. I'm going to spray a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus onto there. I'm just going to be dabbing the foundation into my skin um, after I have roughly blended it in with the brush. And this just helps to keep it on longer throughout the day. It makes it look a lot more natural and it just makes sure that there's no kind of lines or streaks from the brush. This is actually a really great foundation and when I first got it I thought that it was going to be really high coverage and a very sort of thick foundation um, just because of how thick the actual foundation is but once it's on your skin and you're, you've sort of blended it in it, it's not actually that higher coverage and it's not too thick at all, it's really nice and moisturising and it just looks really really lovely. It's now time to do my eyebrows, I know exactly how I do them. I quickly brush through them with a spoolie and then I go in and use the Soap & Glory Brow Archery Pen. Um, it's always been one of my favourites and I have literally loved it for such a long time. Um, but I just brush through my eyebrows gently with the felt tip side and just make them look a bit better. Now 
Now it's time to set my brows. I'm using the number seven Lash and Brow Perfector Gel. Um, I've said this before, I've been really liking this gel. It's just got a really nice consistency. It's not too wet and it dries really, really quickly. Um, and it definitely keeps my eyebrows in place. Okay, so now to move on to my eyes and I've got a couple of new products to show you. So the first one is this palette here, which is called Kick Into Neutral. And this is one of Soap and Glory's brand new palettes. Um, and you open it up and inside it comes with a little mirror. There is a brush, but it just fell out. Um, and this is basically a very, as the name would suggest, neutral palette. So it looks like this. You've got a really pretty kind of range of shades. You've got some really nice sort of pastel shades up here. You've got like a khaki green, one matte shade in this palette, which is called Cuddly Bear, which is really, really sweet. And then all of the other colours are shimmery. This reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I feel like a lot of the colours are very, very similar. So this palette is £13 to buy, I think that is a really really good price for an eyeshadow palette um, and the packaging is really really lovely as well. And then the other palette that they sent me is called the Ultimate Collection, now it looks like this and the packaging is matte which I really really like um, and then the colours inside are actually matte as well. You've got some really pretty pastel sort of pale shades up this end and then they get a little bit more adventurous over here, you've got like a very bright matte blue, you've got a black, lots of very cool toned brown shades um, along here as well so I'm really really excited about this one, I feel like all of these shades are completely matte and I really, really like that. I think it's a really lovely looking palette and I think this is going to be the one that I'm going to use today. Just because I tend to go for more of a shimmery eye when I do my eye makeup, so I thought today I would try something different. This one is also £13 to buy. I'm going to be using a Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm going to take the shade Rudy Judy, which is this shade here. Just a matte creamy colour um, and I'm going to be popping that all over my eyelid just to neutralise things out and give a really nice base for the other colours. Okay, using the same brush I'm going to go in with the shade Pebble Power, which is this shade here. This is the shade that really drew me to this palette, it's a matte grey kind of cool toned colour and I don't feel like I have any shades like this in any other palettes. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to be applying that all over the eyelid again. And then really working that into the crease just to darken it up. And then I'm going to keep blending it out um, as I go along just using a blending brush. I'm going to take the shade Conquer All which is a matte brown and I'm just going to pop that into the crease. These are really, really pigmented which is really great. And I'm going to blend that one last time and then I think I'm going to be a little bit adventurous and try something a bit different. Um, and I might pop a little bit of the blue shade underneath my eyes. Um, I'm using a Luxe pencil brush and I'm taking the shade Stone Age, which is this blue shade here. I don't know how this is going to look, um, but we shall see. I might look ridiculous or it might look really good. So I'm just going to pop that underneath my lower lash line. It doesn't actually come out as bright as what I thought. I think it actually blends in quite nicely and looks quite subtle. Now that is done, I'm going to be applying some liquid eyeliner and as you all know, my favourite liquid eyeliner is the Soap and Glory Supercat liner and they've kindly sent me a brand new one and this is actually the Supercat Skinny liner so it's basically just a skinnier version of the one that I already love and use every single day so I'm really excited to try this. So this one is £6.50 to buy and I'm going to try it, I'm super excited. The nib is like longer than it is usually on the original Supercat but it's a lot skinnier um, so I'm very excited to see how this goes. Amazing, I love it. It's so easy to use, just like the original Soap and Glory Super Cat. Um, I love it, it just looks a lot skinnier than the other one, which is really nice. I knew that I would love this and I definitely do so that is definitely going to be one that I'm going to be using every single day from now on. I'm now going to apply a little bit of mascara, um, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Okay, so it's time to brighten up the underneath of my eyes. I'm going in using my L'Oreal Lumi Magic um, concealer, as I always do, and just pop that underneath my eyes like so. And then blend it in using my Beauty Blender. So to set that in place, I'm actually going to be using my 
NYX HD Finishing Powder, which I've been loving at the moment. It's basically just a translucent um, powder, and I just use this to set my under eye concealer. Popping a little bit down the bridge of my nose just to set my foundation in place, and I found that it's actually really, really helped to keep it on throughout the day. I'm going to pop it on my chin and also on my forehead just to mat things down a little bit because the foundation I've used is quite dewy and um, it does move a little bit throughout the day so you just need to set it with a powder and this one has been my favourite. I'm now going to contour, I'm using my Kevin Oquan Sculpting Powder as always, um, my Real Techniques 300 brush and I'm just going to pop that into the hollows of my cheekbones. Okay, so on top of that I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer, I'm using my Benefit Hoola bronzer um, and I'm taking a Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush and I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit because the summer months are here now, although you wouldn't believe it because it's pouring with rain outside, um, but I'm trying to make myself look a little bit more bronzed even though that's just not going to happen is it, let's face it. Also just going to take that down onto my neck a little bit as well just to make sure everything's blended. Okay, to make my contour stand out, you all know what I do. I pop a little bit of concealer here, and then another little bit here. My cat is sneezing in the background, if you can hear. You're right. I'm just gonna pop another little bit on this spot because it's really bugging me that you can still see it. Um, okay, I'm now going to apply a little bit of blusher. Are you okay? Oh, you got the sneezes. Yeah. Don't be sick on my sofa. The last bits that Soap and Glory sent me were three of their new blushes. Um, they're called Made You Blush and they are supposed to be a velvety smooth cheek colour with air magic technology. So they're supposed to feel really light on the skin and let your skin still breathe underneath. Um, so I've got three different shades. I've got Twinkle Rose, which is this one here. It's a shimmery pinky colour, which is really, really pretty. I've also got another pink colour which is in the shade Cheeky Pink and it is a very, very sort of hot pink pink, a very bright one. Um, so I'm not sure how that will look on me but I will try it at some point. And then this one is my favourite and this is in the shade Rosy Chic which is this one here. It's more of like a peachy colour um, and it's a bit darker than the other two and less sort of bright pink. So I think this is the one that I'm going to be using today, a Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that. These do actually come with little brushes underneath, um, but I'm not going to be using that just because I want to use this brush. Um, these blushes are £9 each if you were interested. I'm just going to take a little bit because I feel like these could be very pigmented. Yes, they are very pigmented. I've hardly put any on and you can really, really see that. Wow, yeah, that's bright. Okay, we're going to have to do something about that. Find a little bit of blusher, but um, I don't like to wear too much because my cheeks do get quite pink naturally. So this is a little bit too much. So I'm gonna have to um, sort that out. Okay, so those blushes are amazing. They are very, very pigmented. So I feel like they would last you so long. You would never ever need to buy a new one. Um, but I'm just gonna quickly powder over the blusher just to try and get rid of a little bit of it because I've put a little bit too much on. So I'm just gonna take. Um, my NYX HD powder and I'm just going to powder over the top of that just to dye it down a little bit. Okay, for highlighter I'm using my Rosie for Autograph highlighter which I haven't used in a really long time. This is in the shade Rosebud and it's such a gorgeous highlighter, it's definitely one of my favourites. You just pop your brush into the centre, it's got like a little cushion in the middle and then you just pop it on top of your cheekbones and I don't know if you can see that but it is gorgeous and it's super shimmery. It's really really natural looking but it's just oh, it's one of my favourites and now I'm looking at it again and I've got it on. I've just remembered how much I love it. Okay, so for lips, all I'm going to be doing today is something very natural, and I'm just going to be using a lip gloss. This is the Soap and Glory Pillow Plump in the shade Transparent, um, and I love using this. You basically just pop it onto your lips. I'm going to use my finger. Um, you just pop a little bit on. It just feels like a normal lip gloss, and then once you've had it on for a couple of minutes, um, it starts to tingle, and it plumps out your lips, and just makes them feel really nice and sort of menthol and tingly and they 
do look a little bit bigger once you've got it once you've got this lip gloss on I'm just going to be using lip gloss for today um but I like it anyway because it just looks really natural and fresh and that is the look that I was going for okay so that is the finished look I really hope you liked this video it's a bit of something a little bit different so I really hope you liked this type of video do let me know down below in the comments if you liked it or if you've got any video suggestions or if you've tried any of these um soap and glory products and let me know what your thoughts are but I really hope you liked the video do remember to give it a thumbs up if you did remember to click the subscribe button down here if you haven't already any information you need to know will be in the box down below and I will see you all very very soon with another video goodbye